I'm Colin Fitzgerald with Arrowhead Camper Sales in Mayfield, Kentucky. We're going to look at our 2023 391 FLRB Sierra Luxury Fifth Wheel. Uh, this is a five slide front living model. It's a raised rear area, incredible outside storage. We'll look at that in just a second. Um, but again, front living, bath and a half model. Uh, I'll get you the floor plan 391 FLRB and again, more Arrowhead Camper Sales. So we'll go in and again, front living at toward the front is our front living, obviously kitchen living room kitchen in the middle man i'm so sorry and then our bedroom and bathroom at the back i'm gonna turn this air off i had it on just to cool it off i don't want y'all to have to um hear that droning noise the whole time so front living i'm gonna zoom out uh two slides up here at the front three seating areas we have opposing uh, trifold sofas on either side and then we have theater seats here to my left that are directly facing the tv so a couple things in general that we'll look at these do have a lot of lighting uh there's lights over the top there in both slides on a switch, uh, night shades. As you can see, there are dark roller shades in this unit. Right here, these are trifolds again. So these are nice big beds. And then at the front, we've got a, a little wall of storage, a TV on a televator. Uh, so that goes up and down. If you don't care about the TV and you don't want it up, then put it down and you've got a really cool front view with this windshield. So it kind of depends on how you want to use it, depending on your campsite as well. If you've got a campsite that's got a great front view, then utilize it that way sound bar fireplace notice no carpet on the actual floor there's some around the edges on the chases and things but no carpet on the main floor um, we love that obviously keeping odors and wear and tear down two airs on this one air here that is ducted one at the back which we'll look at in a second and lots of led lighting as you can see there's an actual wall closing this you know like a retaining wall, so to speak, that's holding this back from the kitchen. I like that just to kind of create some separation. Solid surface countertops, no carpet on the step treads, nice big metal grab handle here um, for coming up and down. And then this is the kitchen area. So our third and fourth slides are here. We have opposing slides here in our kitchen. And I'm gonna show you, turn to the right here first. A lot of controls are gonna be here. So our tankless water heater, it's a 60,000 BTU tankless water heater. That control was there. The main control panel is here. So a couple things going on. Monitor panel up top, light controls on the second row, the Bluetooth connection, water pump, tank heaters, because it does have an enclosed underbelly with tank heaters. And then we have our slide controls and awning controls. So oh, that is kind of command central here. Some of the overhead lights are on this switch as well. And then we have an inverter also on this unit. Um, it's got a solar panel and a controller as well. So a couple different things there for those of you that may boondock. But a lot of your controls are gonna be located here. Otherwise, this is a nice little nook. You've got USB port um, outlets. So maybe you wanna have this as a charging station or you know, a, a cooking area for uh, things that can be plugged in. You've got that. Uh, storage below and then a pantry here to the left of that. It is huge as you can see. Uh, I like the hidden hinges on these cabinet doors. But nice little pantry here to the left. And then this is just the, the general look at the kitchen. So big kitchen island. We have the countertop extension on this. Nice, thick, solid surface countertops. There's accent lights all throughout this unit. I forget to turn, turn them on because there's so many. Uh, big sink there in the middle. Pull-out sprayer. Huge LG residential refrigerator. With below, there is an ice maker as well. Double drawer freezer. Uh, one of the things everybody likes about the Sierra, this big insignia stove and oven, you know, residential style. It's huge. Um, you don't have to deal with the, the issues of the RV one where you're burning the biscuits in it. If you've ever tried to use a, an RV uh, oven, you know what I'm talking about. It can be frustrating. Uh, microwave here above. Lots of storage around that. Solid surface countertops. Again, I think I already said that. We'll talk about that in a second when we go outside. And then more drawers. And you see our soft clothes, residential style drawers. There is also storage underneath um, the, the island. A little place for trash can as well. And then the other slide here with our kitchen table. So table and chairs in this unit, vinyl flooring there, which I like. You're gonna be eating there if you drop something, you want to do it easy to clean. So vinyl flooring in that slide. Nice big windows, obviously, I don't have a great view with my Sabre next to me, but in general, nice big windows. If you've got the ability to utilize that, then, then you can, can do that with those. And then now we're looking toward the rear of the unit. So this is our half bath. Um, we wanna be able to have a half bath, that way guests don't have to go through our bedroom to our main bath, so toilet. Lots of storage, double medicine cabinet even in here. There is an exhaust fan, several lights, and an AC drop as well to keep from getting too hot. Going up the steps to the left, this was otherwise just gonna be dead space, so Sierra wisely just put in some storage. There's another hanging storage there for coats and things. There's a drawer that's already opened up there, so 
know, just trying to make use of space as best as they can. Door to close the bedroom off. Here's our fifth slide with our bed, big king bed, a nice headboard with accent lighting, window above the bed and on the sides of the bed. Our second AC is here. As you can see, it is ducted, of course. On the opposite wall is our storage. We have uh, storage on both sides that is hanging. That's your, um, that's the king Wi-Fi. Um, uh, my goodness, repeater um, the system there. I have lost my words. I'm sorry. A big window, a counter there for setting the TV on if you want, or you can mount it on the wall. And then the same thing mirrored over here with hanging storage also. This also has some drawers there. Um, and then that's that's a lot of space, as you can see, at the, at the foot and the sides of the bed, which I like. Both sides, you can see there's an outlet there, an outlet there. This side even has USBs as well. And then now we're back to the master bath. So sliding door to close that off. Huge bathroom back here. Uh, foot flush toilet to the left, window on that wall. A wall of cabinetry there, the cabinetry below, plenty of countertop space in this, double sinks, nice big mirror as you can see, the accent lighting behind it, uh, glass shower doors, seat in that shower, full plastics around, uh, a more an upgraded uh, shower set up here with a soap dish and then this slides up and down on this rail and you can put it to certain positions if you want, upgraded shower head as well, skylight and then a washer dryer hook up here. So if you don't want a washer dryer, then you know whatever, you've got a big closet. Otherwise you can put a stack washer dryer in here, uh, which is awesome. That's a ton of space there. So plenty, plenty of space. Everybody loves the floor space in this particular bathroom. You don't feel like you're crammed into a little closet bathroom, which we often are in RVs. Uh, there's a lot of space and it even exists, same thing. It goes out through our bedroom as well. So a lot of space overall in here. All right. Also, I love their um, ceiling fans in these. Use them in the destinations as well. They are beautiful. Little accent lighting there above. And another max air fan or a ventilation fan there in the kitchen also. All right, let's go outside, take a look at some things. Uh, one thing Sierra does, if you can tell, that's a wider door than normal. They put a nice wide door on this. Uh, more wide step above steps on this. We quick adjust feet. These are quad steps because it's a taller unit, of course. Big grab handle, electric awning. Um, it's even prepped for the camera system where you can put a doorway camera and observation cameras and things of that nature. Outside speakers as well. As far as our outside storage is concerned, uh, drop frame storage. As you can see, there's our drop frame. So nice, tall storage compartments here. TV hookup. That's our spray hose for our outside spray port. Motion sensor lights, as you saw. There's our spare tire already mounted in here. I like the way they finish this floor out. It's like a garage floor material. And then it's just, it's nice and neat and clean as far as the carpeted walls are concerned. There's a spray port for that outside hose. A little outlet here on this side of the unit. Six point hydraulic leveling on this. Again, there's that sticker for the King uh, Wi-Fi router ranger and extender. We saw that in that bedroom closet. Big outside kitchen. So I'll open these up and you can see the size of this. We got plenty of storage over here to the left. Sink with hot and cold water, and it does drain into an actual waste tank instead of being one you have to dump out yourself. A little lighting in here, outside fridge, and storage above that. Also, note this is a metal countertop, which I like just as far as durability. It's an outside kitchen. Uh, no need to use some cheap Formica or something of that nature on that countertop. Uh, tires are good year endurance. These are American made tires. You also saw there's a tire pressure monitoring system that comes with this. Um, that, that's that thing on the kitchen counter. There's a monitor that goes in your uh, truck. And then you've, of course, got your uh, the tire pressure sensors that are mounted inside on the band and the tire as well. This is where it gets cool. The outside storage is incredible on this because of that raised rear uh, bedroom. So this is looking, you know, at this rear corner across. So you've got, I mean, an unbelievable amount of storage. We're going to look at these other compartment doors as well. But it is huge in here. There's even a light switch here. You can turn the lights on if you want. Got an outlet back here. There's an outlet on that side also. But then look at here at the back. It's just a massive amount of storage. Huge. So it is awesome. Um, there's three back here for this compartment. That's the same thing as the other one. And this one actually has a tray. So this is cool because if there's things that, that you want, so bear with me, I can use two hands. First things you want to be able to easily access. Sorry, that guy evidently does not want a muffler on his vehicle. You can pull this out and easily access them. So it's just really, really cool. Well done. You know, in my opinion, yes, there are two steps you have to walk up to the bedroom. But unless you're mobility challenged, that is definitely worth it to have this amount of storage. 
at six point uh, leveling. We have our waste valves. If I can get these open, sometimes they're tough. You see remote valves there. So three of them there. There'll be, sometimes there are some at the front as well, but I wanted you to see that. That's what that termination point is. And then there, here, right here, here's your other termination point. You can see a valve there as well. Like we said, 60K BTU um, tankless water heater. Right here, you got your solar controller by Go Power, by far my favorite company on the solar side to, to work with. Battery disconnect, motion sensor light, inline water filter. There's another tank uh, remote valve there. And then you got your docking center here. Easy to winterize these with the um, bypass valve system on this. It just makes this inlet become the inlet for or for the water, for the winterization of the antifreeze versus having to get to the pump, take a hose off and all that good stuff. So uh, I like that, it's easy and simple to use. And then you've got a, uh, that should be your black tank flush there as well. Actually, that may be your black tank flush and that may be your tank fill. I have to, I have to, when we check it out, we label. As far as the LP bottles are concerned, you've got, there on the other side, uh, you've got AGM battery on this for the solar, uh, which is nice versus the standard flooded battery, you know, deep cycle. So AGM, that's an upgraded battery there. This is your inverter and then this is your controls for your hydraulic leveling jacks. Storage at the front. See that there, really nice and neat and finished out. And then I want to show you the LP bottles because I look stupid over there. I forgot Sierra puts them on the same side. You got two 30 pounders and they have a really cool pull out tray. Otherwise that one in the back would be a bear to get out. So that's really nice to get those in and out. So two 30s instead of two 20s on that. Rhino box, pin box, and then a really cool front cab with LED accent lighting and then again that windshield in there. Slide covers on all the slides that are, that are able to have them. The only one you can't is the one below the awning because there's not enough space but the other ones do have uh, slide out covers. So 2023, 391 FL RB Sierra, luxury fifth wheel, uh, five slide front living with lofted rear. Click the link in the description, it'll take you to our website. On our website, there's gonna be more pictures, um, tech specs, options, pricing, all that stuff. Or you can call or text anybody in our family at 270-247-8187. Thank you for watching, I'm Colin Fitzgerald. Have a great day.